This Good conference will now be recorded. Okay, what's the date today? What's the date today? Like today's date is, what's the date? Oh, one, December and uh, 2020. Last month of December, sorry, last month of this year. Oh, 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 2020, right? Okay, now look on this. Now, how to start this exception? Okay, so what is this exception basically? I will tell you. Okay, what is the problem with this exception? Okay, for example, uh, I'll go for the program. I'll go for the program and I will be, is this, yeah, I'll be telling this, right? So I'll just tell it as like this. Uh, so I'll go here and I will say this. I'll just tell it like print. I'll just tell it like MIB. Print MIB, I'll tell it. Uh, MIB, I'll tell it. Right? I'll just tell it like print. I'll just tell it as yo, I will tell it. Right? Here, I'll just tell it like print F, I will tell it. Right? So print F, I will tell it like this, I will tell it. Right? Again, I have it, something called as print. I have it. Uh, a, B, C, I will tell it, All right? So this is how I'll be writing the program. Now I'll run this program. But before running this, I want to save this. So I'll just go and I'll save this. Uh, I will go here and I will tell the skill about, and then I will tell us, uh, which is like Python, Python, this one, All right? So what is the day today, guys? Day, 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 tell me day. Day, 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 which day? Day, what's the number? Don't remember? Operator over 26, right? Okay, 26, 26, 26 exp dot py exception, right? Okay, so I'll run this program. Now, what happened with this program? Did you see this? Like, MIB is printed, U is printed, and it got terminated. Why it got terminated? Because of this error. Because of this, this particular error, my program got terminated abruptly in between the program look on this in this due to in this line this error it was not executing this lines okay for example if i write it and some more lines here maybe like thousand lines below this it won't be executed that is a problem right is error ke wajah se baaki ke program execute nahi hoga that is a problem okay so program terminating abruptly right in between the program right but while running the while executing it that is called as what exception okay so i want to handle this exception okay so i'll just tell you for example what, what i'll do is like sukesh is every day regular to the class okay so i hope i have given this example i guess taking sukesh example itself i don't know i i i still remember like that okay so Su sukesh will come to you know like class regularly every day regularly okay i just tell us like skill bot Okay, skill board. Okay, so here it is Sukesh. Okay, here it is Sukesh. Okay, now what happens is here three beautiful girls are sitting. Okay, one is Komal, other one is Nisha, other one is Vanisha. Okay, now this is one way to go for, you know, like to skill board. Okay, this is one way to come to the skill board. Okay, the Sukesh is regular, regular to the class. Okay, the Sukesh is regular to the class. So like beautiful girls over here, all right? So sitting over here, all right? Now, when this, what these girls are doing sitting in here, okay? They are like, maybe like well, the one who is passing, uh, so, someone is passing by, right? So they are just passing the comments on them, okay? And they are like taunting and they are doing their own way, right? Now Sukesh sees this, okay? Sukesh is very shy guy, right? So he cannot go from here, okay? He feels one type irritated. Okay, now tell me guys, whether Sukesh can go to the, can he attend the class? Can he come to here? Can he, can he cross this line? Very shy guy. He's like very much scared now. Right? He will come here, he will come here, he will come here. Right? So what happened now? He cannot come. Right? So he cannot come. He cannot go this way. Right? He cannot go this way. Why? Because, because of them. Because of this three of them. Right guys? Guys, got this? Right now, what he'll do is Sukesh will do some master plan now. Okay, now 
now what happens the first case is what is that like he will come to here because they are standing here he will come back to the home okay he'll come back to the home right so other way what i will do is other way what he will do is he'll come to here he will see some alternative way that it will connect to connect from here to here right now what happens they are they are over here they are over here right they are over here now what happens the sukesh when he comes from here to here now what happens this this it will not meet up okay this kind of the three girls will not meet up sukesh rahul sukesh done will not meet up the three girls okay so what happens now sukesh will come here he will take a route here bypass and he will come here and he will come to the skill bar right and this concept is called as what exception handling this is the exception right and sukesh is what or is doing it is handling the exception okay by this whatever the task is there he can achieve to the destination from source to destination he can run up with this even you have lot of trouble that is what happens right you have a aim right you have a aim there are people which i see it right they are walking towards the aim now someone will come he will call somewhere okay come come bro let's have somewhere out right they will go some other way right i again some i can there are a few people who will get diverted they will who, other other people are there like who will tell lot of reasons right one who sustain to the track okay seeing the alternative without going to it okay he will reach the destination right? that is what i call it as source and destination okay there are like in the li normal life also you will be having lot of exceptions lot of exception and you need to know how to handle this exception if it is not if it is affecting you need to make a way and you need to come to here again here it is exception you need to make a way another way right again there is an exception and again there is a problem here again you need to make a way if you are telling reason and you are stopping here you will be here itself right oh some somewhere i didn't get up that does everything all the reasons are like you know you tell it and you will be here itself got it so what i will do it i will i will go and try it if it is getting so i will search my own way right so that is how it will be doing it okay so understood so much understood so much you got into the concept like where i am taking to you so even if you are making mistake also we can make a number of mistake and that is an exception and we will be going for it forward for it okay so write it down write it down an exception is an event which occurs an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of program exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program okay normal flow that disrupts the normal flow this that disrupts the disrupts das r u p t s disrupts the normal flow of a program programs instructions programs instruction disrupts the normal flow of the programs instruction in general in general when python script encounters a situation in general when a python scripts encounters a situation in general when python script encounters a situation that it cannot cope up with that it cannot cope up with cope up with cope up with in general when a python script encounters a situation that it cannot cope up with comma it arises an exception it rises an exception okay have a note have a note an exception in is a python object an exception is an python object is a python object that represents an error that represents an error when python script raises an exception
okay where, where were we guys where were we like when python script raises an exception then python script raises an exception it must handle the exception immediately when python script raises an exception it must handle the exception immediately when python script raises an exception it must handle and handle the exception immediately otherwise it terminates and quits it terminates and quits okay so there are certain things which you need to know about it guys okay so uh, normally in java you have something called as try and catch right so over here you have something called as try you can use it try okay again you can use a word called as i'm using a word called as except okay except and i'll be using a word called as finally i'll be using a word called as finally then try except and finally okay what is this try okay try block let us let us test a block of a code for errors okay in try block we will try it okay so what will do it sukesh will go and try it whether i can go or not if you cannot go then you choose the other way right try to banta no right that is what it is okay so even if you are doing mistake try to banta ek try to banta that is how it is okay a try block let us test a block of code for error test a block for error. try block let let's us test a block of code for errors for errors okay now next one right now the except block lets you handle the error okay except block lets you the handle the error okay the finally block let us let us execute code execute code regardless of regardless of result of try and except block try and except block try and except block okay your entire programming guys it's in the try block okay next one is in the except block finally is for the garbage collectors you can tell it about it okay so that is how we learn it in java right try mein hum program likhte hain kuch exception aaya to exception block ko chale jate hain and then finally is for garbage okay so finally tells that uh, finally block let us execute code regardless of result of try or except block okay so when you write finally it might be try it might be going to accept block okay it will get execute no matter it will get execute that is what the feature of finally is got a point okay so right now you have seen it this much itself like right now we will see the program at that time you will get some idea about it what is this exception handling right what is this exception that this everything you will get to know about it okay for example now what i do is like i will come here i will come here simple example i give it i will tell it as x i will tell it do you have x something called as x you don't have something called as x okay so what i'll do it now i'll put it in the try block okay i'll put it in a try block i'll open the try block and i'll just print it I, i'll just tell it as like x i will tell it right so i'll enter this so if it is not there i will go for except block okay e x c e p t i'll tell it except okay here what i'll do it i'll write one message okay i'll just write one message print i'll just tell it as like what i'll just tell it like what uh maybe like a uh, variable is not there right variable is not there. so i'll enter this okay so what i'm doing it what i'm doing it you're getting my point so where, wherever is normal thing i'll get the exception but here what i'm getting it i'm handling it okay for example okay to become more more specific right so this is not there right this is this one is not there now what i'll do it is i'll put it in a try block this one i'll put it in a try block you got to know when it was without try block when it was not in the try block you got to know what it was right so now what i'll do it you will i'll write as like except block e x c e p t except block right so you will get in the actual difference now a print i'll just sell it as like this okay so um, 
I'll just say something uh, wrong with print. Okay, something wrong with print italic. Okay, so I'll run this program. Right now, what is the important of this one? Is it is it, it is something wrong, and my program is terminating completely. My ex my program is executing completely, with the exception I can execute my program completely. It will not terminate it abruptly. Okay, here it is. It was terminating abruptly. MIP is printed, you is printed. You found the except, you found the error, and it got terminated. My program got terminated abruptly, right? Over here, my program didn't get terminated. My program started from here and ended till here. That is the use of your exception. This is, this concept is called as what? Exception handling. For example, you will be doing it in one event. One event will be organized, right? So what, what happens? Some trouble comes in the event. Okay, you are doing some function and some trouble comes. Now there will be some person in your family who will handle that problem, right? Make sure that it will not come until unless the function is getting over, right? You will make sure that the function is running smooth. Right? That is what the exception handlers are. That is what the exception is. Got it? Got it, got it, got it? Okay, you can write down like this. You can take down this example. You can write it down like this. Since the try block rises an error, since the try blocks rises an error, the accept block, the accept block, the accept block, the accept block will be executed. If you try block error execute, then what will happen? Accept block execute. Hoga. Got it? Without the try block, the program will crash and rise an error. Without the try block, without the try block, the program will okay crash and rise an error or it will terminate it abruptly terminate it abruptly you got the point guys you got the point Take it out, take it out. Once you're done with it, you can ask me. Once you're done, you can ask me. Once you're done, you can ask me. Next time. I will teleport that. I'll teleport that situation. I'll teleport that. Okay, not worry about it. Okay, I'll teleport that, not to worry about it. Is that okay? Okay. Now look on this. As Sukesh told me right now, like sir, no need to mention the type of exception in like a Java, right? So uh, we'll, we will we will we will raise it. Okay. <clears throat> we will have it, handle it accordingly. Tell me some type errors. Okay, tell me some errors. Let me check it out. So if I tell it as X, okay, so what is this error name? What is this error name? Name error, right? So I'll copy this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here. Okay, so I'll just need a name. Tell me some other errors. What are the, what are the types of errors? Tell me some errors. So you have literally little errors, okay? So this is the type error, maybe like this one, 10. When you tell it as 10, what is the error you will get it? Or 10, 10, 10, it's nothing to worry about it. Uh, tell me some errors, guys. 10 equals to 10, right? 10 equals to 10. It is also some error, right? Syntax error. This is also error, right? Copy. I'll compile. I'll copy this, right? I'll copy the name of this error, right? I'll copy this name of this error. Tell me some other error. Tell me some other error. Okay, I'll just tell us like 10 divided by, okay, I'll just tell us like 10 divided by 0. I will tell it, right? What is this? Like, this is also one type of error, right? Copy. I'll tell it. Right, so I'll come here and I'll tell it as like hash. You tell me something, some example you give me, and I'll I'll be writing all those errors. 
Okay, so tell me now. Tell me, tell, tell me some more errors. Tell me some more errors. We have you have looked on to it. Okay, so you have looked on to it. So many errors you have looked on. I told you, like you take it on, guys. When I do the error handling, one one error also I need error. Right? I, did I tell you that? I didn't tell you. Any index out of country, Ras, okay, it is Java. Ra. Okay, fine. Sukesh is teaching me now. Sukesh today is like gone somewhere else. Okay, so I'll get it index error. Wow, Sukesh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, good Sukesh, good, very good. Okay. The next next kind of error is, think guys, think, 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 think. Dekho, dekho, socho, socho, socho. name error right name error is done right uh type error how do we get the type error guys how we did the type error so we got something called as type error something a file concept i have not done right okay no need now okay so i thought of doing file then i do uh, i thought of like doing exception but when i do the file handling i will tell about that hmm? or else it will get confusion now A type error when we get type error guys when we get type error when we get type error when we get type error guys yes type error we got it right so we got the type error so much is enough okay so much is enough so much is enough okay so now what i do it okay so much is enough now okay so much is enough now look on this now as has has as as he told it okay you know what is this name error you know what is the syntax error you know what is the zero division error you know index error and you know type error. all right now what i do is for each except block i'll be giving one name okay each except block i'll be giving that name well it is name error Okay, whether it is name E R R O R name error. Okay, I'll be giving the name. Whether it is name error, what is the type of error it is? Okay, what is the type of error it is? I don't know what is the type of error it is. Okay, wait a second. I'll just write like print F, right? So print F. I'll just write like like this. I'll print it out. So what is this? It is a name error. Right? It is a type of name error. It is okay. Fine, no problem. Okay, so I'll come here and I'll just write like again. I'll just write like E X C E P T except I'll just tell us like syntax error. Whether the syntax error S Y E N T A X tax E R O R. Okay, so I'll just tell us like this print print. I'll just tell us some syntax. Some some syntax it won't be happen because here itself it will tell it. Okay, so here itself it will tell about it. So that's the reason I we don't want it to know about the much thing. Okay. So I will come here E X C E P T except uh, what is that like uh, I'll just uh, like I'll copy paste it guess uh, I'll copy paste it I'm a I'm a little lazy right right so I'll copy paste it so I'll enter this I'll just tell uh, like printf you cannot do this math okay 
you cannot do this math okay you cannot do this math or it doesn't okay this might be one thing right so what i'll do it now again i'll write as except except all right index error i'll tell it so this is our favorite person's right so except error so what i'll do it now i'll just tell it like print and i will write as what index error uh mm, out of one i'll tell it out of one i'll tell it okay out of one i'll tell it. that's okay so again i want to tell type error i'll just tell as e x c e p t l tell it except what is that like type e r or type error i'll tell it i'll just tell as like print <clears throat> not a scene type draw okay so i'll just tell like this done so here there is a error okay here there is a error okay so here there is a error for example what i'll do is like this is the line where i have a bug okay i don't know which kind of bug it is i don't know what which kind of bug it is okay so what happens is i will run this program i will run this program now which where it will go flow it will tell that something is wrong with what print statement okay so i'll get to know a proper one maybe like name error okay Something is wrong with name I will tell it, with name I will tell it. All right. So if I write it here in the try block, if I suppose if I write it like this, okay, 10 divided by 0. Tell me where it will go, guys. 10 divided by 0. Tell me where it will go. So this is this is what I'm trying it in my program. Okay. Normally, when I do the program, I'll get the slab for this one. All right. When I put it in a try and try and catch block, try and accept block, tell me where it will go, what will print it. Tell me what I will print it. Okay, what will print it? It will print it. It will go four way. You cannot do this math, right? You cannot do this math. Okay, distilling that, it is, you cannot do this math. Okay, type error. When I got the type error, S is equals to yes, so I can, if I tell it like this, all right, one comma like this, I'll just tell that like this, three comma four, I'll tell it, all right? So if I do this, Right, if I do this, what I'll get it error. So what I'll get it, I'll get it not a same type row. Right. Why it is getting it is nothing but this type is nothing but what type error. We'll go for the type error and we'll print it this way. All right. If it does index bond, okay. So what is this index bond? Okay, for example, I'll just sell that like S is equal to so I'll just sell that one comma two comma three error. All right. So if I want to access S of S of seven, I want to access it right so if i tell it as this one okay if i tell it as this one what i'm getting it out of bond okay now for example guys okay now for example this is very important which i want you to know about all right so index error okay so i will just comment it okay i'll just comment it so well, what will happen i'll just comment it i have commented this except block right so what happens okay so what i can do is like i can get it something called as except block what happened okay fine i'll copy this and i'll cut this okay i'll cut this so i'll run this program okay i'll run this program so what happens what happens now it is throwing you error even though it is in the try and catch block what it is happening is it is telling that index error list index out of boundary why it is so because i have taken that this is the prescribed error this is this prescribed error this is the prescribed error this is the prescribed error and there is no what out of boundary error that is a new kind of error i want to prescribe it okay so suppose if you don't know okay if you don't know what you can do is at the last okay you can tell it as like this except okay except i can tell it as except okay except what is that just normally i can tell it like this and i'll let us print i can tell it as like this. some kind of error or error i can tell it right so if i run this program what happens this now what happens if we go for what some kind of error got this point take down this take down this take down this take down this it is a prescribed error it is not a name error it is not a syntax error it is not a zero divisionable error it is not the type error but this is what out of bound error you don't have it it will go to me here it's just acting like else if else else if else if else if else if else if and then last one it is else right it is acting like this itself
Got the point till here? Guys, got the point till here? Yeah, you can write it. It's all over the class. It is getting it right. You can do it. No problem. Yes, you can do it. Okay, you can do it. Okay, done with this. Done with this. Done with this. Done with this. Guys, okay, done with this. Does everyone confirm it, please? Everyone, please confirm it. Hey guys, Bolo G. Hey guys, others, what happened? You are there? Just tell me if you are there. That's more than enough. I'm feeling like, like I'm teaching to only Sukesh. Done. Okay. Everyone are there? Just tell me SSS. Okay. Guys, listen up here. Suppose if there is no error, okay. For example, I'll tell us seven here. I'll just instead of seven, I'll just tell us two. Okay, I'll just tell us two. Now I'll run this program. Okay, when I run this program, do you have error? You don't have error at all, right? You don't have error at all. At that time, what you can do is what you can do is listen up here in Python, you can do something. Okay, you can write one else statement. You can write one else statement. I can tell that print. Uh, there was no error. I can tell that there was, there was no error. It was working all fine. I can tell it like this. All right. If I run this program, right, if I run this program, I'll be accepting this block. Okay. There was no error. It was working all fine. Okay. If there was an error, for example, if there was an error. Okay, so I'll just tell us like nine every direct. Okay, if there was an error, if I run this program, right? If I run this program, what is this? Some kind of error. We'll go and we'll give you what some kind of error, right? So this else block will only execute only if you don't have what? If you don't have what? Errors, okay? If you don't have it. Now for this one, you don't have an error. So what will happen is you, it will never go for the except block. It will go for the else block. So it will go for else block and it will print it. This one. By this, we'll get to know there was no error for it. Got it? Okay, so you can write it on like this. You can use the else keyword to define a block of a code to be executed if no error. Error will rise.
okay done Okay, then guys, there was a small thing, right? Okay, now coming here. Next one, write it down. Last one, finally, finally, write it down. Finally, okay, finally, write it down. Finally, okay, what does this finally will do it? Okay, write it down. The finally block will specify. Will be executed regardless if try block raises an error or not okay even there is error also even if there is no error also this finally block will get executed for example okay so what i can do is at last okay after this after this all okay what i can do is i can write something like this okay i can write it like this uh finally right so finally i'll come here i'll just have it like this print okay uh done with my try block done with the try PLOCK. Okay, done with the try block. Okay, in this situation, there is no error. Okay, when there is no error, it will not execute this one, it will come to else and you print this one. And last, it will print finally done with the try block. Okay, so for example, you go here and I'll run this program. Look on this, there was no error, it was working all fine and done with the try block. Right, finally, is getting executed. Now, what happens is I'll make some error now. Okay, I'll make some error now. Now what happens it will come here accept block and will print it some kind of error now else block will not print it now again the finally block will 100% will execute it okay even there is an error even if there is no error your finally block will get executed okay there are there are some certain tasks which the finally block will do it okay for a reason they have developed this i told you right entire program of python or java whatever it is it will be in the try and accept and finally these three blocks are very important like okay, entire programming concept when you release it, it will be in this format itself. Why? Right? Because to avoid the crashes, everything. Well, it should run smooth. It should run smooth. Okay. So tomorrow I'll give one example for this one for try, try sorry, for, for finally. What is the use of this finally? Done. Okay, last one write down. Last one you write down. Rise. Okay, so this is the custom exception, guys. Okay, so we can even design our own exceptions. Okay, we users can define our own exception. Okay, last topic. Okay, last topic. It is nothing but what? Rise. It is nothing but what? Rise. Rise is also a keyword. Okay, rise is also a keyword. Rise. Okay, write down. As a Python developer, you can choose to throw an exception. As a Python developer, you can choose to throw an exception if a condition occurs to throw. If the condition occurs, okay. As a Python developer, you can choose to throw an exception if a condition occurs. Okay, to throw an exception, to throw an exception, we use the keyword rise, rise, R A I S. Okay, to throw the exception, we use a keyword rise. Okay. Okay, what is the use of this rise? Okay, so we can customly we can uh, we can you can you can do this. Okay, for example, look onto this. Okay, uh, you have written all the exception which is already there. Okay, you can actually design your own exception. Okay, you can actually design what 
your own exception for example what you can do is okay uh, how you can do this okay for example i'll just send it as like look on this i'll just have a, a little small examples okay right now i'll, I'll just deal with the small examples okay for example i'll just send as like uh, uh, you know like if x is equals to minus one i'll just say plus x is equal to minus one okay so if if x is less than zero if x is less than zero what i can do is i can tell it as rise i'll just rise the exception okay rise i need to tell it as e x c e p t i o in exception rise the exception stating that stating that uh x is too small okay x is too small i can so i can tell it like this okay so what i'm doing the exception i'm telling it i'm telling it what i'm writing my own exception x is too small this is what how the developer will do this got it so it is nothing but inheriting concept yes simple thing okay x is, exception is a class where you are doing this got it so you can raise your own exception look out here you have raised your own exception this is how you're gonna be uh doing this okay for example you can do it for many things okay for example you can do it something like this also type error right x is equals to you tell it as like hi you will tell it okay x is equals to you tell it as like hi you will tell it okay so if if i will just tell as like not of not of type okay type of x x okay x is int Okay, is int. I'll just tell it as like rise. R e i s e rise, rise. I'll just tell it as like type error. I can execute this type error thing. Okay. Uh, I can I can tell it as type e r r o r type error. I can tell it as type error. I'll just tell it as uh, only int type needed. Okay. I'll just needed. Okay, I'll enter this. So and enter this, I have this type error. Okay, but you can create your own class. Okay, for example, for example, what I can do is like I'll just say like class, I'll just say as like MIB, MIB. Okay, so I can inherit this one, inherit this one type error. Okay, T Y P E type E R R O R I'll tell it type error. And I'll like simple I'll tell us like pass. Right. So I'll come here and I'll tell us here something like this here. Okay, so instead of here, what I can do it is I can tell it as like MIP itself. Okay, MIP itself. Uh -huh. Okay, wait a second, guys. Copy. Done. So this one, what I'll do it is. I'll come here and I will tell it has like here I'll tell it as like MIB. MIB. Okay, look onto this. So what is this name? This is the name you are given as MIB. Okay, only int type name. Right? So you are giving your own name for this. This is how it will happen for you. Got it? So how you can custom exception? This is called as what? Custom exception. This is called as what? Custom exception. So, like this, I'll be dealing with more. Okay, maybe like in between, I'll be handling with the errors. Okay, whenever I find out the errors, I will tell you to write the program for the exception. Okay, so if you know so much of the idea about the exception, that's more than enough. Well and good. Okay, so I'll just uh, have a glance on it. So, what is this exception? Exception is nothing but an which event occurs. Okay, and it will affect the program. And you can tell it as like this. an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program that disrupts the normal flow of the program instructions programs instruction right so you have try except finally and again you have else so try is a block where you actually try it and accept is a block when you find the exception you will have it except it will go for the except block right so if you don't have error itself okay you're trying it and you don't have error whether it will go for the except block no it will not go for it Okay, can one try can have a number of except block? Yes, it can has a number of except block. Okay, so you have it. One try has many except block. 
right? So you can specify the names also. Even if you are not specifying, that's name. Okay. So when you specify the name, you need to make sure that this should not come at the beginning. If I write this one at the beginning, then again it is error. For example, if I tell it as like cut, I will do it and I'll paste it over here. Okay, so even this is a mistake, big mistake, right? If I write it like this, okay, if I write it like this, I'll be getting what default except must be last. It is telling that low magne, it should be what it should be last. This line should be what last, all right? You cannot have else first and then if and then else if else if else if you cannot have it like that, all right? So if this is not matching, then this, then this, then this by default, it will come to here, all right? That is how you're gonna be writing it. Okay. So again, coming to your else. What is this else part? If you don't have any else over here, it will come to the else part. What is this finally part? No matter if you have try or it will go for the except block, this will get executed no matter what it is. Okay, that is what it is telling you. Okay. Next, later on, we have discussed about the custom exception. So, what is the word you'll be using it? A rise keyword you'll be using it, right? So, what you can do it, so you can just simply tell rise and you can use it any of the class name. Okay, whichever you want it, right? Coming to your, your here, I use exception itself. Here, I use type error. You can use it all the classes, whichever I have discussed over here. Maybe like name error, you can use syntax error, you can use a zero division error, and you can use a type error, whatever the errors you have, right? To do the more custom exception, you can just inherit to your class name and you can have your own exception. Okay, this is your own exception. Here it is. Done this. Dun 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 dun. That's done. Okay, that's it, guys. That's it for today. Now, okay. Thank you so much. That was really nice exception day. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow, and uh, we'll see it on our uh, file handling tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow morning, we'll see you for file handling. Okay. Please do wake up me up. Wake me up. I'm sorry for those who have called me today. Sukesh had called me today for three times. And the phone was in silent, fortunately. Uh, I was like helpless. And I got up at 8.30, then I was like, oh man, I had a class, I had a commitment, and I feel that. Right? Okay. Few more days, morning class, then everything is fine. Everything will be normal, okay? Maybe like sooner, I'll be starting with the NumPy for you. Okay, thank you so much, those who have Oh, I want to tell, I didn't tell about the super keyword for you. Did I tell you about the constructor chaining? I didn't tell you about the super keyword, right? Did I tell you about the constructor chaining? Constructor chaining? No, right? Okay, I will tell about that. Okay, I will tell about that. Please remind me at the end of the class, you tell me, you remind me. I mean, end of the Python class, which of the topics is remaining, you remind me. Oh, oh this many details, everything I want to note it down. Okay. Okay, Sukesh, I'll do that. It's very easy, Ra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Any queries you have it, please let me know about it, guys. Please, please, please. I am the Komal and uh, this one, like. Uh, Finished up. Please review it. Give the review in the Google. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.